Good afternoon friends, welcome back. Now let us have the video on profit and loss again and it's going to be the third video. Third is already over now, this is fourth video for you, right? So now in the last session, in the last video, we were discussing this question, right? So I could not complete that one due to some technical reasons. Now let us continue the same question. If cost price of 10 articles is selling price of 8 is equal to selling price of 8 then what is the gain or the last percent in the last video itself i have given you clear description for this one by seeing this one right by seeing this one immediately we can say that there is a profit in this transaction because the reason is very simple cost price of 10 is equal to selling price of 8 i can interpret in this way he is recovering the cost price of 10 by selling only 8 articles there means he is gaining the cost of 2 articles every time in this transaction. Now, how to go for this? So, gain percentage. How to go for gain percentage? I explained you in the last session. We continue the same shortcut but after that, I will give you the best way of doing this type of questions. Actually, how did we do in the last session? 2-3 questions we have done. Now, I am taking in this way cost price or purchase price of 10. I am taking as 1 rupee. Okay. Since selling price of 8 is equal to cost price of 10, selling price of 8 must be equal to 1 rupee. Now we will go for the cross multiplication here. Now this is 8 and this is 10. According to this shortcut, 8 is nothing but CP, 10 is the SP. Obviously there is a profit of 2 rupees here and profit upon cost price into 100. You will get this one as a 25% for the clarity as simple as this one right cost price of 10 equal to selling price of 8 cost price of 10 I am taking 1 rupee selling price of 8 also 1 rupee with the shortcut cross multiplication 8 rupees CP 10 rupees SP then the profit percentage is 25% hope you got the idea but think a little while right can't we do this question without doing this much also Yes, of course we can do. The method is like this. When cost price of 10 is equal to selling price of 8. Simply I can interpret in this way. The conclusion should be in this way. On selling every 8 articles. The very meaning of this one. On selling every 8 articles. He is gaining the like profit equal to cost price of 2. Because CP of 10 is equal to SP of 8. Means on selling every 8 articles he is gaining a profit or he is gaining the one which is equal to cost price of 2 there so on selling every 8 I am getting cost of 2 that is 2 by 8 in terms of percentage it is 100 so my answer is going to be again 25% this is very very important in profit and loss to go for some advanced level questions right simple way on selling every 8 articles he is gaining the cost of 2 articles so 2 upon 8 into 100 that's going to be 25 percent this is the best way now let us extend this one for one more question also go for this question the second question in this row they have given a person sells 15 articles for the same price he paid for 20 what is the gain or last percentage simply i can say cost price of 20 from this one is equal to selling price of 15 that's all so he is recovering the cost price right cost price of 20 is equal to selling price of 15 as i have explained you in the previous question recovering cost of 20 by selling only 15 articles certainly he is at a profit now we should not go by the old cross multiplication method let us interpret it only once one step what is that one when cost price of 20 is selling price of 15 according to the shortcut I told you on selling every 15 articles he is gaining a profit equal to cost of 5 this 5 is nothing but 20 minus 15 cost of 5 and in terms of the percentage it should be 100 multiplied by 100 now it is 100 by 3 nothing but 33 1 by 3 percentage 
this is the best way to go for this type of questions and as I told you this is going to be useful for you to solve many advanced questions in profit and loss. I am just repeating this one. Cost price of 20 equal to selling price of 15 means on selling every 15 articles he is gaining uh, means his gain equal to cost price of 5. So my answer is 33% profit is the right one. Alright this is another model. Now let us move on to one more model which is very popular one and very commonly asked in various competitive exams. Let us finish up that one also. In this video I am going to finish all the basic level questions so that in the next video I will give you very very important questions based on profit and loss from various competitive exams which are having a little more standard than these questions there. Right. Now let us take up this question. A dishonest merchant professes to sell the goods at a cost price. Now you observe the wording here. He professes to sell the goods at cost price only. Right? If he is honest person, when he is selling the goods at cost price, he won't get any profit. No profit, no gain. But what happened? They have used the dishonest merchant. So somehow he tries to get the profit. How he is getting the profit here? He uses a weight of 900 grams for 1000 grams or 1 kg find the gain percent all right actually for this type of questions uh, we can directly use a formula for this one we will use that formula of course but before that uh, you should understand the concept of this one because the very purpose of these three four videos is to make the concept clear for you after that we can fabricate any shortcut we want right so now what is the concept of that one we will use the formula later but here straight away what exactly is this now to understand the concept, we can describe this question in this way. A merchant right, professes to sell at cost price but still he is gaining. How he is gaining here? Using the false balance there. How much profit would be there? Let us find out this one with the help of the concept. The concept is in this way. I am taking in this way. Actually, he wants to give 1 kg. Right? I am taking in this way. Cost price, let us start in this way, cost price of 1 kg or 1000 grams of that commodity, I am taking this one as 100 rupees, 100 rupees, right? Cost price of 1000 grams is 100 rupees. But what he is professing in this question, he is selling the uh, commodity at the cost price only. So here selling price also 100 rupees, all right? If he is honest, as I told you, there wouldn't be any profit in this transaction because cost price is 100 and selling price also 100. But where is the manipulation? Instead of 1000 grams, he is giving only 900 grams. How to calculate the profit? Actually, cost price of 1000 is 100, but he is not giving 1000 grams. So, I cannot take this one as the cost price. Actual cost price will be for 900 only because he is giving only 900 grams. Let us calculate in this way. Cost price of 1000 is 100. Then, cost price of 900 grams is how much? Now, very clearly, cost price of 900 grams is 900 by 1000 into 100. Or directly you can say the cost price is going to be 90 rupees there and this one. His actual cost price is 90 rupees but he is selling that one at 100 rupees by claiming that uh, he is going to sell the product at the cost price only. Because of the false balance it came out. Uh, now cost price is 90, selling price is 100. Clearly the profit is uh, 10 rupees right on 90 rupees. You know the basics. Okay. 10 by 90 into 100. So here my answer is going to be clearly 100 by 90, 100 by 90 or 11, 1 by 9 percentage. Okay. So even though he sold that product at cost price also, he is going to gain 11, 1 by 9 percent profit because of the manipulation, because of the false weight. Okay. But here we can do this question without this. This is for you. This is for you to understand the concept. But what exactly is that one? What is the other way? Using the direct formula here. The direct formula says uh, directly for this type of questions. You calculate in this way. Profit percentage is equal to true value. Right? Minus false value. Or true weight minus 
false weight. Let us take it as weight otherwise. That would be easier. True weight minus false weight divided by false weight into 100. You can get this one directly. Now in this case, true weight actually is supposed to give 1000 minus he had given false weight of 900. Now it should be divided by 900 multiplied by 100. You do this one, you will get the same answer that is 11, 1 by 9 percentage profit in this transaction. Got the idea? Now we are learning the concept, we are learning the basics almost for the last uh, 4 videos. This is the 4th one, I am giving you the complete picture of profit and loss. Next video, we will change that one, I will tell you later. Now, let us go for one more question based on this one. Suppose instead of 900 grams, it is 950 grams, let us take. He is giving 950 grams means directly it is 1000 minus 950 divided by 950 into 100. You can have any problem with this formula, right? Now, sometimes what happens in the examination, they give the questions in the other way. The other way is, uh, generally, uh, here they have given that he is professing to sell at a cost price. But in some cases, what happens, already they get some profit out of selling the product uh, normally. But still what they do, they use false balance in that case. That type of questions, how to go for this one. Let us go for one question. I am changing the question here. Let us take in this way. A merchant, a merchant sells a product at, let us take 20% profit. Actually, he gets 20% profit. But still he uses, still he uses a weight. A weight, let us take otherwise directly the figure here. Still he uses 20% less weight, for example, right? What is his uh, overall profit percentage? Overall profit percentage. Now, in this case, he is benefited on both ways here. Two sides he got the benefit. The first one is actual, let us take it as for our purpose, legal benefit is 20% on the cost price. Illegal benefit, what is illegal here? That is, he is using only like 80% of the weight or he is using 20% less weight. How to go for this type of problems, right? Simple understanding of this one, I am taking in this way, cost price of, let us take 1000 grams or 1000 ml, whatever it may be. Cost price of 1000 grams, I am taking as 100 rupees. Obviously, what is his profit? 20% on the cost price, so selling price is 120. He is selling the product at 120 rupees. But he is gaining on the other side by giving only, uh, means by like uh, going for the false weight of uh, 20 grams. So 20 grams, are, so no, not 20 grams, I'm sorry, 20%. 20% less weight he is using there. When he is using less weight of 20%, I can say he is giving instead of 1000 grams, uh, he is giving only 800 grams because 20% is less. Now like in the previous question, when cost price of 1000 grams is 100, profit is legal profit is 20%, selling price is 120. Now he is giving 20% or he is using 20% less weight, he is giving only 800 grams. Now what is the actual cost price of 800 grams is the question. Now actual cost price of 800 grams needless to say that is 80 rupees. How is that one? Now it is 800 by 1000 into 100. We just go for this one. You will get uh, 80 rupees. Means what is the meaning of that one? Actually selling price is 120 but actual cost price is uh, because of the false balance, because of the manipulation, the cost price is uh, 80 rupees. Now what is the overall profit in this case? Now he is gaining on both ways, two sides he is gaining. Now overall profit is 120 minus 80, that is 20 plus 20, profit is 40 rupees, right? He is getting profit of 40 rupees on 80 rupees there because 80 is the cost price. Now here what is his profit percentage? Profit percentage is 40 by 80 into of course 100, he is gaining 50%. He is gaining 50% out of that one. Okay. This is another basic level question to strengthen the concept of profit and loss.
Hope you got the idea. Now, let us move on to this one. Finally, I'll take one question because till now we have not done any question based on the market price or list price, right? Let us start a question with that one also. Now, we will go for a simple question based on this one, right? I'll take some convenient figures so that this basic model can be understood by you. Then after that, uh, we will go for some questions, some very, very good questions in the other like sessions there. Now, let us take up this question. Here they have given, here they have given, uh, just make a note of this one. A tradesman marks his goods at 20% above his cost price and allows, allows uh, purchasers a cash discount of uh, 10%. Then what is the profit percent in this transaction? This question is also a very simple one. Even without writing anything on the paper also, we can go for this one. But let me go for the like detailed explanation of this one, how to take it. Here they are given, a tradesman marks his goods, I am taking that directly, mark his goods, marks goods, right, how much percentage, 20% above the cost price, but he allows a discount of, allows a discount of 10% discount for cash and what is the profit percent in this transaction. Generally, they ask the question whether it is profit or a loss percentage. Here clearly by seeing the question, we can say this is the profit percent. Now, what is the profit percent? The profit percent can be calculated here. Let us go with the concept. We can go uh, or do this question by taking cost price as 100. Because in profit and loss chapter, it is better to take cost price as 100 because the fractions can be avoided. Everything profit or loss percentage must be calculated on cost price. That is the reason why this will become the denominator. So that is going to be cancelled. Anyway, let us go for this one. Now mark the goods 20% above the cost price, but still allows a discount of 10% in this transaction. What is the profit percentage? I am taking in this way. The cost price I take as 100 rupees. Obviously, here he marked the goods 20% above the cost price. So market price is 120 rupees then he allows a discount of 10 percent is the discount then what should be the selling price i told you in the first video itself uh, selling price discount is given on market price market price minus discount will give us the selling price now the selling price should be on 120 rupees they allowed a discount of 10%. So 10% is reduced from 120. What is the result here from 120? 10% of 120 is reduced. Direct fraction is 120 into 90 by 100. We have been doing these questions right from percentages chapter. Right. So now clearly it should be 108. Right. Now the cost price is 100. Selling price is 108. Now obviously the profit is 8 rupees upon 100 rupees into 100 now my profit in this transaction is 8 percent is the profit this is the way to go for this type of questions right now what we will do with this question i have covered many models in uh, profit and loss chapter almost every model we have covered which are generally asked in the previous examination from the next video mostly like uh, uh, very soon, very soon. By today evening itself, I am going to give you another video on profit and loss uh, for like or taking advanced questions there. I am going to choose some questions which are asked in various competitive exams where the level is a uh, uh, little high, not, not uh, only little high, but I will go for good standard questions in the next video. Four to five questions we are going to discuss. Thank you then. Thank you very much for watching the video.